What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? La Familia. Today's Wealthy Wednesdays, shooting right here from the backyard. If Donald Trump, P. Diddy, Tony Robbins, KRS One, Deepak Chopra, Russell Simmons, T.D. Jakes sat in a room together to co author a book, this would have been the result. The Hustler's Ten Commandments, a collection of corporate best practices, ancient wisdom, and guerrilla tactics for today's independent minded entrepreneur. By my man Hotep. Let me tell you something about this book. This Periscope, of course, is brought to you by Coach Kair. Thank you for sharing with your followers. Thank you for tweeting. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for coming over here saying I'm ready to look at some money. Thank you for saying I'm ready to come over here and change the way I do my business. You understand? Today's the day I get to go in and talk about making money on Periscope. Every day you see somebody on here talking about getting customers and so and so and so and so. But listen, ancient wisdom and guerrilla tactics is all they're talking about. All they're talking about is their hustle. They don't want to use the word, but they can't use the word. And they're not talking about selling drugs, of course. Do you see this? Corporate best practices. Man, please. Today, I'm going to talk about it. Today, I'm going to talk about wealthy Wednesday's wisdom. How are you going to be wealthy? And you and you you must have these Ten Commandments. And are you living by them? That's why we scope with Coach on Wednesdays. This is one of my seven-day solutions, seven-day series. Last night was health. Today is wealth, back-to-back. Back. So we're going to get into talking about some of this money, and we're going to talk about Hustle commandment number one today. So thank you, Leslie, for joining. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, um, Mardisi. Thank you, Divine Star. Thank you, Nikisha. Everybody, please just give me a quick shout out so I can, um, you know, so I will know where you are calling from. Well, not calling from, but tuning in from. Love to give y'all y'all shouts right here at the beginning. I know St. Louis is in the building. I know Toronto is in the building. I know the UK is in the building. Maryland is oh wet cash. I should have known you was gonna be here. Anastasia, MJ, what's going on? Where you at? Callie is in the building. That's what we all the way from from West Coast to across the pond. I'm ready to get started. Everybody's in attendance. We got the whole United States, and we all the way across the, all the way across. Mr. Rice Worldwide, what's going on? Divine Star to see peace, love. Tampa's in the building. Just got the phone with somebody down in Tampa. We're gonna make some money together. So let's talk about. Hustle commandment number one. Let me switch the screen around. Bam! That's right. I'm in my backyard today. Got my fly colors on for the city. Represent Oakland. Anybody over there from the west side? Tell them Coach was Coach was rocking his um rocking his the city shirt today. Hustle commandment number one, which is like what Periscope is about. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Blab, Zoom, Go to Webinar. Uh, webinar jam it doesn't matter they all of them operate off of hustle commandment number one what's up Nubian naps you come in right on time to get this money write some of this stuff down hustle commandment number one is your network is your net worth your network is your net worth all oh, the CEO is in the building peace Andrea today we're talking about Hustle Commandments, the ten Hustlers Ten Commandments. And everybody that's on Periscope is a hustler who's trying to make some money. If you want to get a dime, I had a guy, I saw a guy earlier today, he was like, I don't I don't really give a F about the money. Ooh. Don't talk about money like that. Money is like a sophisticated woman. If you don't know how to treat her, she will leave you. You understand? So you go around and keep talking about um, I don't really like I don't really like my wife like that. I don't really like my girl like that. She's going to leave you. You understand? That's why you have to understand that you gotta it's God's will for you to be prosperous so you can do his work while you on planet Earth. It's God's will for you to hustle. See this little book right here? Look how thin it is. Ooh. Tiny. 
good things come in small packages. The f- and, uh, and, and, and now recently somebody was like, well, you said God, so I don't know whether you're a Bible thumper. If you think that if you have a problem with me using the word God or any reference to a higher source, this is the wrong channel for you. It's the wrong channel. Just move along. If you got me confused with some zealot Christian or zealot anything, I'm a success zealot. I want you to be successful like to the craziest nth degree. That's all I'm concerned with. That's why we talk about one commandment today. There are 10. We'll talk about the first one, which is your net work is your net worth. That means after the liabilities are subtracted from the assets, what is left? Who is in your cipher? Why did why did they build? Let's 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 let, let me just get 100 for a second. Why did they even put a periscope together? Why did Twitter buy it? If you want to learn how you're going to be successful in marketing you and your products or your services on Periscope, you have to understand why they why they built it. They've been building it for like the last five or ten years, as long as they putting been putting uh, cameras on telephones. Then they started putting front face cameras on telephones. And then all of a sudden somebody says, I'm going to come up with Periscope. And then Twitter says, I'm going to buy it. Twitter says, I already make my money off of networks. But you can't see each other. But now I can see one another. And now I can start reporting live. What happened on Twitter in Ferguson? People were expanding their networks. Girls with big butts come on Twitter and put a picture and they expand their network. And then all of a sudden you were on Twitter filming in Ferguson and now somebody asked you to be on CNN and they cut you a check. Your net worth went up. Some people saw you on CNN and wanted you to come speak at their event. Guess what? They had to pay for your travel. They had to pay for your food. They had to pay for your honorarium. Your network is rising. Your network is your net worth. Some of you think about money too dang much. Oh, money, 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 money. It's important, but where is the money coming from? Your network. Your network, the people that you're hanging around. Now, inside of this one commandment, there's many, many other jewels of wisdom. One, you can't be the smartest person in your group. You cannot be the smartest person on your team. You're in trouble. My squad is called Team Success. And our phrase, our motto is, where teamwork makes the dream work. Then we flip it in case somebody might have um, whatever that is where you have to, you know, where you read things backwards. And we say the dream work makes the teamwork. So either way, we win because that's all we about is successful networks. Now. Donald Trump and all of these people are always talking about absolutely upgrade your relationships. But you can't do one thing without the other. You got to upgrade your relationships and cut off some losers. You got to you got to cut off some losing relationships. You have to sever some ties with some losing relationships. You have to cut off some liabilities to raise your assets in your network so your net worth can rise. Jay-Z cut off the whole rock family. He cut off the whole rock family. Beans in them, Memphis Bleak, Freeway. Them jokers wasn't getting money like Jay-Z was getting money. Then when he got title, he said, look at my network now. Madonna, Kanye West, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. I'm up here with Pandora and Apple and Spotify. Do y'all want to get right now? Y'all want to pay attention right now and get on this network and get right? It was like, yes, yes. We're, we're, ready, we're, we're all leaders now. So sometimes you have to snip, snip. Just like Andre said, you got to snip, snip so they can learn the lesson so you can elevate. You can't float up with a bunch of ballast in your balloon. The ballast is what holds the balloon down on the ground. So if you want to let your balloon, hot air balloon float up, then you got to let some dead weight off. 
so you can rise, so you can get to another level of income, so you can associate where some other different type of money is at six, seven, eight, and nine figures. It's a different type of atmosphere the higher you go. They don't talk about the same petty stuff. Nobody's mentioning mortgage. I'm just going to use an example. Andrea says she's consumer debt free. So the other day, my man asked her and says, do you use the Fair Credit Reporting Act? She says, what for? I'm debt free. I don't need to use my credit score. I roll with cash. Now, pause that idea and let me go back to my man T. Harv Ecker from Secrets of a Millionaire Mind or the Millionaire Mind Intensive that moves all around the world. He says, rich people get their mind on how to operate with money before they get rich. So I don't know what Andrea's pockets are, but she might not be at seven or eight figures yet. But her mind is already at cash is king. She ain't thinking about no um what her credit score is. Donald Trump is not worried about his credit score. When you get to seven, eight, nine figures, you ain't worried about your credit score. So as long as you think about your you think your credit score is gonna get you to millions of dollars, you think Jay-Z was like, man, my credit score is messed up. Um, that's why they didn't sign us when we went to these record labels. When I got my own label, when I got my own cash and I'm putting up my own money, when Kanye West went to uh, Paris, France and was like, I'm putting up my own money to start my own line of my fashion industry. He didn't look, he didn't get no finance, he didn't get no grants. He went out there and bust his butt, got his own cake and put up his own bread. And he started operating around a different network. Now, when he first got over there, they hit him across the head for 13 million. They wanted to see was he going what was he going to be about fight or flight. He got back up and fought back in, and last year he launched his own clothing line, shoe line, everything. Because of the network that he is operating in, he had like-minded individuals who could see the vision where he could go somewhere. And that's the only way you are going to super 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 get the most out of the hustlers 10 commandments now where do you get it what do you when do you start studying asap now don't wait for me to mail you this copy you can go to hustle university books hustleuniversitybooks.com right now and snatch the pdf you snatch the ebook right now some people say we're well, so thin why isn't it free what? Because you get what you pay for. You want to get the commandments on how to be a supreme hustler? Everything they're doing on Periscope. There's not one person on Periscope today who's giving some kind of money lesson that is not in cover than these 10 commandments. Period. So every Wednesday, I don't know how long it's going to take. What was that 10 weeks? I'm going to be going over a different commandment and how you apply it to your life so you can make money. Has my sales increased since joining Periscope? No, because I ain't marketing nothing. I'm only working out of hustle commandment number one. I'm building up a new network. Nobody on Periscope knows me. Nope, you ain't known until you got like 700, 800 people. That's why I'm so happy when y'all invite y'all followers. If you don't have no followers, don't nobody know you. How you gonna sell something on Periscope and you don't have a following? You don't have a network. Two rules in business. Build a network first. Hustle commandment number one. Build a network. Then do what? Sell them something. So how could I want my sales to increase when I haven't even built no relationships? I don't have a network. Nobody trusts me. They don't know what I do. They don't know anything about me. I'm telling my story right now. That's it. I'm building relationships and earning people's trust. Because I'm also authentic. You know by the quality of your network, not the quantity. I don't know what IMO means. And if you disagree, that's 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 fine. That's okay. Because if you want if you got your own strategy and you got your own playbook, I applaud you. But my playbook works. It worked when I came to Facebook. It worked when I went to 
Twitter. It worked when I went to Instagram. It worked when I went to Blog Talk Radio. This ain't no different. Build an audience and then sell them something. And if I never sell you something, I'm still good. Because there's enough money on Facebook for me to get paid over there at least 50K a month. I got a 50-person formula to make $15,000. You could did you know you could take a product, advertise it on Facebook, and only sell fifty of them and make fifteen thousand dollars. So what would I need Periscope for? If I already if I'm making fifteen thousand dollars a month, just with fifty people on Facebook. So I understand the game plan. Listen, the numbers in your network really. There's a lot of loafers in your network, too. That's another thing. Try to get the loafers out of your network. I like my numbers being low. I don't need 700,000 people or a million people following me. The little 200 that I got, they know they're getting value when they come see me. They know they come get transparency and authenticity when they see me. And I'm not even selling it. I'm guaranteeing it. I guarantee before I sell. Some people want to sell and ain't got no guarantee. I'm guaranteeing and I don't have to sell you anything. When you recognize value, you pull out your credit card. When you recognize value, you pull out your wallet. So when you on Periscope, give your network something to trust. When you're on Periscope, give your network authenticity. When you're on Periscope or Blab or Instagram or Facebook, stop faking the funk because then you will use law of attraction in the most ridiculous way. You will start attracting bull crap on your team. So now I had also believe you need to have a schedule. You also need to have at least your bullet points and your and and understand the flow and the rhythm. Have you ever um have you ever like been to like a symphony or an orchestra or something like that? And you hear at the beginning the maestro is like na 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 and then there's a crescendo and the volume raises na 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 then it gets to the climax bum 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 and then he break it down. And then he say, And then all of a sudden he bring the flutes back and bring the drummers back and bring the horns back and bring the clarinets back and the saxophones back. And then he build it back up. And then he say, yep. And it's over. And everyone stands up and applauds because they have been fulfilled. They knew how to do the intro. They knew how to take it up. They knew how to climax. They knew how to pull you close by making you say, what is that? It's so silent. Let me listen to it. You got the dynamics. And then they brought you up to the super, super, super orgasm at the end. And then you stood up with a round of, of standing ovation. That's like when you're doing real estate, getting your credit fixed, becoming debt free. When you are an intimacy coach or when you just like high maintenance and you're just riding around keeping it 1,000 with people. You're keeping it with 1,000 with people and they get relief because they, you, 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 you lead them by your example, showing them that you are a real, trill person. You understand? That's where it's at. And that is the future of Periscope. People are looking for me. They're looking for authenticity. My job is just to be found. I don't have to mark. I don't have to be coming up with no tricks and no gadgets. I seen a girl the other day. She was like, I'm going to catch the hearts in my mouth. Or is it the other side? If you do this, and that's cool. I do some if you do this is too. I, I like to reward the people that come see me. But guess what? Why can't I reward you with being 100 with being authentic and giving you something that I know and that I work. I work what I work. If you ever know, this is one of my secret weapons and I'm sharing it. It ain't really even a secret, but I just don't talk about it a lot. 
Hustle Commandment 2, image is everything. Woo! Baby, baby, what's your image about? We ain't talking about that today, though. We're only talking about, do you want to get the lessons? So, there's always a value exchange, too. Do the people really appreciate you? And what do you want to invest in you being moving to the next level? Somebody was like, well, um, I want to hire you as a coach. What's it going to cost me? Nothing. Because investments get return on investments. You get an ROI when you put some money in me. I'm an incubator. That's what I am. I take your money and then I roll it over for you. And then you look around and be like, damn. I was working with that dude. I, I got my own personal mentor. Somebody who watches out for me. And all these different angles. He the eye in the sky that don't lie. He got a crazy network and got me hooked up to all these resources I had never seen before. And he was honest with me. Damn, now turn around, I got more zeros in my bank account this month. What's it going to cost me? Rich people don't ask, what is it going to cost? They say, how much? How do I pay you? Are you thinking like the rich? Or are you thinking like a broke person? Change your... To, my man... uh Mr. Tycoon. So I don't parrot people and then don't tell you who's, who I got it from. Proverbs 3, 6, I got it from the Bible. Lean out on your own understanding. Mr. Tycoon says if you want to get your money right, you first got to get your mind right. If you want to get your money right, you got to first get your mind right, which means there may be some detoxing. There ain't no maybe. You got to do, get, do, uh, do some detoxing of some limiting beliefs that you have. I'm taking a 21 day course right now that somebody gave me for 50 bucks. Every morning I get up, put my headphones on and go through this course on unblocking my limiting beliefs surrounding prosperity and abundance. And I'm a beast. But I invested in that so I could keep on making sure because I need an eye in the sky sometimes watching over my shoulder. I don't see everything, so I want somebody to be like, yo, you got flags at you got flags at nine o'clock, got prayer flags. I'd be like, oh, okay, that's good. I knew that they were over there. Bet you got um you got you got these, you know, you got this you got this council of trees up here over your head. You know, what is that what is what is that about? Hey, that's my backyard, everything is cool. I need that sometimes. And that's what I am. I am what I need for myself. I am to other people what I need for myself. I needed a coach to get here. So why would I turn around and not be able to turn that back around to other people? I looked at the greatnesses of my coaches and the limiting abilities of my coaches and said, let me maximize on that. Let me pay that forward and be like, how can I make this easier and make more and make more revenue so I can free up my time to do other things in what I got going on? I want to write books. The books that I have inside of me, in my mind, in my visualization are going to change so many things in the world and improve so many things in the world. But how could I if I didn't have a strategy? How could I if I didn't have somebody wiser than myself that I go to? That's why in your network is in your net worth. Your network is your net worth. Hustle commandment number one. Why would I not have a coach? A CEO in my network. So a coach can be in your network on many different levels. All of you who watch me on Periscope, I'm in your network. So I'm making your net worth go up right now. Everything I tell you, if you apply it one time and you get paid off of it, or it increases the value in your life, or the experiences that you have, that was because you included me in your network. So I honor the integrity and the time that you take to even rock with me on Periscope, which seems like it's free. Somebody's paying for it. Trust me. <laughs> About that there, you know. But if I am doing something for you on Periscope, yo, take it and run with it. So today I'm just giving you this reference. This is one of my success guides. I paid for it. I paid for a lot of these. 
Right. I pay for a lot of these right here. Because somebody borrow it, don't bring it back. Then I was like, word if it's that valuable, and I love it, and I've sold a lot of these too. I've sold a lot of these hard copies, and I sell a lot of the digital copies. Right. And it's 10 bucks. And you get immediate access to it right now. All 10. May I, may I read, um, this is my conclusion for the day. I just want to read the first command. I just want to read this first chapter. That's all. You, you, y'all mind? Can I, can I go in for just a second? If y'all don't mind, if you want me to read this first chapter on hustle commandment number one, just put a hell yeah in there. That's all. Just give me a hell yeah or no, number one or smiley face, emoji, something. Can I read? I just, I just want to just share hustle commandment number one for today. Your network is your net worth. Net worth is commonly known as the difference between what you own and what you owe. You can figure that your net worth by adding all your debts, credit cards, mortgages, car loans, and or anything else you owe, and subtracting that sum from your total assets, home value, stocks, cash, furniture, electronics, and anything else you own or value. Net worth is an actual pile of physical dollars, but more a sum... Network, I'm sorry, net worth is not an actual pile of physical dollars, but more a summation of the potential dollar amount that your assets would bear if you liquidated it or sold them. It is that same summation of potential that we can include our network, friends, crew, gang, homies, posse as assets too. Birds of a feather flock together. Remember when you were little and your mother told you to be careful who you chose as friends? Well, that advice doesn't change with age. Your friends will either help bring you up or take you down. They can be assets or liabilities. Can I get an amen? You ever had any liability friends? <laughs> it was once suggested to me that I make a list of people in my life that I can count on and those I can count out. Doing so and spending the majority of my time with those that I could count on drastically improved my business and social life. The same can and will happen to you. If you hang around four broke people, you're bound to be number five. This saying would still hold true if you place the word broke with rich, positive, smart, or any other adjective you choose. Such is the power of your network. My cousin calls his network his circle of influence. I think this is a very appropriate term because it recognizes the amazing influence those we surround ourselves with have on us. Your business will flourish if you hang around business savvy people. Your life will start to seem so much more beautiful if your friends are positive and optimistic. Those are asset worth having friends. You will never be homeless without food, clothes or money if your circle is affluent. Damn. That's because your network is your net worth. Now, that's just the beginning of chapter one. That's like the intro. You want to see the rest of it and you want to get the other nine? Hustle University Books dot com. Three words. Hustle University Books. And you can spell you ready to go. I would be up on this. There's a complete package of all of those is, is five pieces of material. Today we're just covering this one and we're just covering one commandment. Because you have to stop trying to eat all the elephant at one time. Let's just look at your network first. Just look around. Are you in an affluent circle? Do you got somebody you can go to and say, let me borrow $500? How many people in your circle can you borrow $500 from? Not the bank in your circle. I ain't going to say 1000 Just 500 how about 250? How about 100? What kind of circle are you in? What's somebody asking from you in your circle? And is your circle influential? And if it ain't, how is it serving you? These are things I want you to think about right now. You should sit down and make your list. Who are your people that you can count on and who are the people that you can count out? Whether you grew up with them for life, if they negative and they argue and they ain't got no plan for the future and they ain't talking about getting some of this paper and they don't meditate or whatever you say success is. You hang with nine meditators, you're bound to be the 10th one. If I hang around nine people that sell cocaine, I know I'm going to be number 10 
been there, done that. But I like being on Periscope because I'm hanging around millions of people who understand the power of social media and getting out there and expressing real valuable information, which we call content. Now, I don't think that I have a lot of peers who do it like I do because I don't think that they study like I do, but that's okay. You do. You do. That's why I rock with you. That's why I rock with my followers. That's why I rock with the people that you invite to join me. So keep following. When you see the joint pop up, I promise you one thing, I ain't going to waste your time, and I'm going to always give you something that you can use immediately. So get your scissors out. Get your scooper out. Add more people of influence. Cut out people of no influence. Simple. If you want to get down with the book, Hustle Commandment Books, Hustle University, excuse me, books.com. Check it out. Let me know you were over there. Take a screenshot. Um, I'm going to have something free for you really soon. So stay on the lookout for that as well, all right? Let's make this thing pop. This has been Coach Kair. Tomorrow, I can't think of what my show tomorrow is, but I will be back tomorrow, all right? So, once again, much love. Appreciate you for all the hearts. Thanks for coming out. And keep hustling. Keep getting it. Peace.